Well, get this, a Zimbabwean doctor has developed a novel way of providing desperately needed mental health therapy for his poorer compatriots by using grandmothers. Sitting next to a patient with depression on a garden bench in Zimbabwe's capital Harare, 70-year-old Sherry Ziwakai speaks gently, offering accessible therapy with a warm and reassuring smile. Are getting help here. The old and the young come here with their problems. Zimbabwe's psychiatry professor Dixon Chibanda's concept is simple. A wooden park bench where people experiencing common mental disorders sit and receive free therapy. Dr. Chimbanda's friendship bench has proved popular and offered much needed accessible therapy. The mission of the friendship bench, which has always been my mission, is to take people out of depression. But our big ambitious uh, vision is to have a friendship bench like this within walking distance everywhere. 43-year-old Joyce Gia says she owes her life to the service offered on the benches. I came to a point where I wanted to commit suicide because I had been blessed with twins and I had nothing to give them since I was unemployed. Grandmother Ziwakai has offered therapy from the benches for the past six years, seeing an average of three clients a day. Patients come from all walks of life. The grandmas are given a stipend for their services, and the operation is financed by Dr. Chibanda's NGO, the Friendship Bench. His therapy model is now being exported to the Football World Cup in Qatar. So at the World Cup, there will be 32 benches representing the competing teams uh, and this is a symbolic way of really illustrating the need for all of us, not only people attending the World Cup and not only the, the participating teams, but all human beings to find a way of connecting with each other.